Hello everyone welcome back to the film farm. I'm back with another fun and interesting video. Before getting into it, subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any fun video. Without any further delay, let's get started. Today I will be talking about top 10 movies about the fashion industry. The fashion industry is often perceived as a perfect world where everyone is beautiful, thin, and has amazing clothes. As well as this glitzy aspect, the fashion industry also has its darker side filled with pressure, competition, and angst. This combination of glamour and edginess makes the fashion industry a perfect subject for beautiful yet dramatic cinema. Here we list some of the best movies about fashion. So here's my top 10 list, and my list starts with Number 1. The September Issue, 2009 When you think of movies about fashion, the September Issue is often the first one that comes to mind. The film may be a 90-minute documentary that depicts the glamorous, fashion-filled lifetime of Vogue's editor-in-chief, Anna Wintour, as she prepares for the 2007 September issue, most vital, the largest, the most important, most important vote of the year. The resultant pressure and diligence thrown into creating the magazine are honestly portrayed, and viewers are going to be thrown into the crazy, glitzy world of Vogue and magazine editing. There are appearances by Oscar de la Renta, Jean Paul Gaultier, Karl Lagerfeld, and Vera Wang, amongst others, lending a very stylish edge to the film. Number two. The Devil Wears Prada, 2006. The Devil Wears Prada is undoubtedly one among the simplest movies about fashion ever made. Meryl Streep is the stern, terrifying boss, and Anne Hathaway is the lovable klutzy intern in this fashion flick, who gets swept along within the all-consuming world of favor and high-profile writing. Hathaway's character goes through a method transformation as she works her way up within the fashion world, but is additionally forced to confront her own self amidst the external chaos of the industry. Expect Katniss, Tears, and much and much of fashion. Number 3. Funny Face, 1957 Stanley Donan's Funny Face was one among the simplest musicals that came out of Paramount, a studio not known for that genre. The DVD format we watched recently seems to have been transferred with care because the colors have a vibrant look, something that wasn't the case with the technique used during that era that made colors fade. The film owes its appeal to Audrey Hepburn, an actress not known for being a singer or a dancer, but who had enough charm to form the movie her own. The pairing with the good Astaire pays off well because Mr. Astaire was always an actor who had enough chemistry together with his leading ladies. Miss Hepburn's costumes by Givenchy, and the way she carries herself in them, is one of the best assets about Funny Face. The other surprise of the movie is Kay Thompson, who plays the magazine editor Maggie Prescott. Miss Thompson makes a superb contribution to the film because of the no-nonsense woman who ruled what the fashions of the day should be as shown within the pages of the magazine. The songs of Gershwin are complemented by the first music, composed for the musical by Roger Edens, Adolf Deutsch, and Leonard Gersh. The great cinematography of Ray Jim shows Paris at its best. Thanks to Stanley Donan, all the elements fell into place, and we were left with this musical that will delight audiences forever. Number 4. Coco Before Chanel 2009. As a part of Hollywood Insider's Hidden Gem series, we aim to cause and highlight movies that have got to be watched from around the world. International films that are brilliant hidden gems and masterpieces of cinema that are worth some time. Today we highlight Coco Before Chanel, which is out there to observe on Amazon Prime. Coco Before Chanel stands poised among the rest. This delicate, Parisian cinema triumph directed by Anne Fontaine depicts the lifetime of Gabrielle Coco. Chanel before she earned her title in Empire. It's widely regarded for lighting a fire under the name that started as nothing quite a fashion brand. While this film is about a few famous dressmakers, it's not about the opulence or flamboyance of her life following fame. We see what her childhood was like, also because of the other impactful events that shaped her future. Drawing you into life in France during the 19th and 20th centuries, this film is sure to dazzle you and provide a more grounded view of this famous figure. Number 5. Scatter My Ashes at Bergdorf's 2013 Bergdorf Goodman is one among NY City's most iconic department shops. It is known throughout the style world. If this luxury store decides to sell your products, it means you've made it within the industry. It is the mecca of high fashion addicts and A-listers, and some are so infatuated with the store that they have even claimed to want their ashes scattered there when they die, which is what inspired this documentary's title. Number 6. Sex and the City 2008 Carrie Bradshaw is synonymous with fashion. Her crazy fashion sense, 
Her passion for Manalo Blahniks and her addiction to fabulous accessories make her one among the foremost famous on-screen style icons of our generation. Samantha Miranda and Charlotte are all incredibly stylish too, and fashion lovers will enjoy all the brands and labels thrown around. Sex and therefore the city fans will appreciate the chance to reunite with the much-loved characters, and anyone will enjoy the humor and lightweight drama of this fashion-forward movie. Number 7. Confessions of a Shopaholic 2009. This film won't be the maximum amount about hot couture as all the others on this list, but is an entertaining watch. The title tells it all. Isla Fisher plays a fashion-crazy college graduate whose shopping has spiraled out of control. Her job is writing about fashion, and she or he is so immersed in the world that she doesn't realize that she is massively in debt from all of her shopping. It is an unusual rom-com about a few lass trying to seek out her place within the world and is worth a watch the maximum amount for the amazing costumes as the lovable characters. Number 8. Atomic Blonde 2017 Atomic Blonde is that the quiet movie whose DVD menu you'd figure out to in college. It's flashy and exciting, and you'll imagine its best moments and visuals, providing the right backdrop for a few other activities. You could search every so often to ascertain the neon sizzle, and therefore the heroine kicks somebody within the head and then you return to whatever you were otherwise engaged in. Which is to say that I really liked Atomic Blonde, but I had to overlook a lot of things to come to that conclusion. The story is too convoluted and has at least two too many climaxes which are distinct from endings. I'm not convinced this movie actually does end, since it's so intent on pulling the rug out from under the audience over and over again. And director David Leitch may be a little too nonchalant about the large pile of corpses his heroine leads in her wake but damned if it doesn't look cool as hell, and sometimes in life. And in DVD menus, you can make out too. All you want is something that looks super awesome, regardless of whether it makes any sense. Atomic Blonde manages that trick decidedly. Number 9. Diana Vereeland. The attention has got to travel, 2011. Diana Vereeland is one among the foremost famous figures within the fashion world, having spent a few years working for both Harper's Bazaar and Vogue. This incredible, powerful woman revolutionized the style industry and chose to make people's imperfections their most engaging asset. This film tells her story, including many icons' thoughts on her, and shows the viewer the large impact she made on the style world during the 20th century. There are interviews and audio recordings with the legendary figure herself, but also of her immediate family and close friends. Number 10. The Philadelphia Story, 1940, as socialite Tracy Lord, Eppern is haughty, capricious, tender, and vulnerable, vacillating between her ex-husband, C.K. Dexter Haven, and a society reporter, Mike Connor. But it's Hepburn who wears the pants, literally. The actress, who frequently fought to depict her characters in trousers and closely collaborated with costume designers, brought her love of menswear to line once more for Philadelphia's story and met her perfect match in Adrian. He and I had the same sense of smell about what clothes should do and what they should say. She once said the renowned designer, Hepburn's casual, tailored elegance helped define an iconic American style more practical and individualistic than its fussier European counterparts. As Tracy Lord would say, my, she was yar. These were my list of the top 10 movies about the fashion industry. Did I miss any of your favorite videos? If yes, let me know within the comments section. With this, I am wrapping up this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, Subscribe and hit that bell icon to never miss any updates. See you soon with another fun video. Till then take care, stay safe.